let me tell you a story about a star system that is so close to ours that it is cosmically a stone's throw away. Alpha Centauri What is behind the nearest star system? If we had the opportunity to send probes to another star system, it would probably be Alpha Centauri. Only four light years away, the triple star is our closest neighbor, and we have discovered at least two Earth-like planets there. So there may be life there. The space-crazy billionaire Yuri Milner wants to construct nano spaceships before the end of this decade that will fly beyond the borders of an alien solar system for the first time. Imagine we have arrived in the interstellar age and are jetting through space in spaceships. Then Proxima Centauri and above all, Alpha Centauri would be our next port of call, where we might pop in for an interstellar coffee. We don't know yet whether there is life there. The Kepler telescope found promising planet candidates in the vicinity of Proxima b, but it is not yet possible to confirm whether life similar to that on Earth exists there. Proxima Centauri is formed by the two main stars Alpha Centauri a and b, and the probably captured star Proxima Centauri. Alpha Centauri A is also known to astronomers as Rigel Centaurus. The main sequence star of a special class G2V has about 1.08 times the mass and 1.22 times the radius of the Sun. All in all, Rigel Centaurus is around 1.5 times the size of our star, and its surface temperature is also similar at around 5800 Kelvin. There are no confirmed exoplanets around Alpha Centauri A so far, but observations in 2021 provided evidence of potential planetary objects. This still needs to be researched in more detail. Alpha Centauri B, or Telamon, is a little smaller than our Sun, and a main sequence star of a special class K1V. Its mass is around 0 0.90 times that of our star, and its radius is around 0.86 times. Alpha Centauri b is significantly less luminous than its companion star and shines only about 0.5 times as brightly as our Sun. The surface temperature is only about 5200 K. Alpha Centauri a and b are both on average about 4.36 light years away from us. What is interesting about this duo is the completely different chemical composition, so both stars must have had a beginning that was independent of each other. It is therefore possible that these two only found each other later and then began to dance together. There have been indications of an exoplanet, Alpha Centauri b, but astronomers are not yet entirely sure. Proxima Centauri is the third in the group. It is sometime also called Alpha Centauri c. This star is a red dwarf of special class M5.MVE, about 0.12 times as massive as the Sun and around 0.14 times the radius. The luminosity of Proxima Centauri is so low that this star shines only about 0.0017 times as brightly as the Sun. At a distance of around 4.24 light years, it is often a little closer to us than its two companions, making Proxima Centauri the closest known star to Earth outside our solar system. Proxima Centauri is home to at least two confirmed exoplanets. Proxima Centauri b and Proxima Centauri c. Life on Proxima Centauri b What if I told you that there is a planet, possibly only four light years away, that harbors life? That's exactly what millions of people are hoping for. Since its discovery in 2016 by the Pale Red Dot Project, this exoplanet has been the focus of research. The exoplanet was found using the radial velocity method which detects tiny wobbles in a star, and it is precisely these wobbles that allow conclusions to be drawn about exoplanets. Planets are tiny on a cosmic scale. It is almost impossible to see them through telescopes just like that. However, their gravity influences a star in a very specific way, and we can see exoplanets as tiny dots when they pass in front of their star. Proxima Centauri b could be similar to our Earth. It has at least 1.27 Earth masses, which speaks for a rocky planet. The exoplanet orbits its star at a distance of about 0.05 astronomical units, which corresponds to about 7.5 million kilometers, and is quite close. 
it takes about 11.2 Earth days for one orbit. As Proxima Centauri is not very luminous, the exoplanet Proxima Centauri b is located in the habitable zone, despite this proximity to its star, and therefore in a place where the light irradiation is high enough to enable a pleasant climate and the existence of liquid water on the surface of the planet. Whether there is really liquid water depends strongly on its atmosphere and other surface properties. Initially, all known factors strengthen the hopes of having discovered a candidate for life here. However, there have been two setbacks. Proxima Centauri is a very active star that regularly emits strong stellar flares. These could potentially erode any atmosphere of nearby planets to such an extent and bombarded the surface with harmful radiation that life would hardly be possible. Furthermore, the orbit of Proxima Centauri b is probably bound like that of our moon. This would mean that the planet always turns the same side towards its star, one side always bright and the other always dark. The bright side would probably be very hot and possibly unsuitable for life. The other side would be very cold and always dark. Nevertheless, even with these bizarre worlds, researchers see a small prospect of life-friendly regions in the belt of transition between the day and night sides. On a planet of this size, these would be strips of several thousand kilometers wide. It's interesting to imagine what it must be like to live on such a planet. If you move in one direction, it gets brighter and brighter, and in the other direction, it gets darker and darker. This is a strange idea for us Earthlings at first. But if we take a closer look, it's not so strange. We also have climate zones at our poles. It is permanently so cold that hardly anyone lives there. Visitors to Proxima Centauri b would probably find that just as strange. Future telescopes and missions will have to clarify how life-friendly Proxima Centauri b really is. Soon, the James Webb Telescope will most likely profile the planet. With its excellent instruments, Webb can scan all gases and traces of liquid water in the vicinity of a distant world. The telescope detects the light that the planet absorbs from its star and then emits. The light then contains all the signatures of the gases present and possibly also of water. Then we will know for sure whether Proxima Centauri b has an atmosphere and water. But we still won't know whether there really is life there. James Webb can detect biomarkers in the atmosphere, but that won't be real proof of real life forms on Proxima Centauri b either. We would have to see the creatures and the surface of this distant world with our own eyes. Proxima Centauri b – Micro Spaceships with Cameras How would you react if you saw the first images of an exoworld showing bizarre, never-before-seen landscapes and possibly also living creatures? That is exactly what Jury Milner, a super-rich patron of the economy who has long been promoting the SETI project to detect extraterrestrial technosignatures dreams of. When he heard about the discovery of Proxima Centauri b, SETI immediately sent a signal to the planet. The publications in the media excited millions of people in 2016, and of course, everyone hoped for the decisive news that real life had finally been found outside the Earth. The signal should have arrived by now, and a possible response should also reach us in the next two to three years. But what if there are only creatures living there that have no technology whatsoever? This is the problem with the search so far. We can't see the planets clearly, and our contact options are limited. Nor can we expect every species to be as curious about space as we are, or to have the necessary knowledge. Milner, therefore, launched the Breakthrough Starshot Project. This is an ambitious initiative that aims to send micro spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system and soon. The exploration of distant planets and other star systems faces enormous technical and physical challenges. The distance to Alpha Centauri is only about 4.37 light years, but that is already around 41 trillion kilometers. With our current propulsion technologies, even a normal probe would take thousands of years to get there. We do not currently have the technology to navigate through interstellar space, and we still know too little about the problems such as interstellar matter. The risks would be enormous. 
Milner had an ingenious idea that is currently under development. The Breakthrough Starshot concept is based on thousands of small spaceships, so-called starships, each only about the size of a postage stamp. These starships are to be equipped with ultra-thin light sails that reflect light beams and can accelerate them enormously thanks to a powerful ground laser. On paper, the mini probes reach a fifth of the speed of light. Space fans and experts are currently following the development of the project with excitement. At this speed, the mission could reach Alpha Centauri in just 20 years. Cameras on board the probes would illuminate every conceivable corner of the star system, and we would have the first images possibly also of other planets in the system that we have so far overlooked. If thousands of nanospacecraft set off on their journey, there is a good chance that at least some of them will reach our neighboring system. The launch is scheduled for the mid-2030s. If the time frame works out, we could expect the first images from the Proxima Centauri system from the 2050s. The first technical challenges include developing the laser propulsion system, miniaturizing the spacecraft technology to a chip that can carry scientific instruments, and ensuring the long journey through interstellar space. If successful, the project would not only pave the way for the exploration of exoplanets in our cosmic neighborhood, but also lay the foundations for future generations to explore interstellar space. What's going on at Proxima Centauri C? There may be other life-friendly planets in the Proxima system. Proxima Centauri C was discovered after Proxima Centauri B. As early as 2019, radio velocity methods and direct observations show the first indications of another planet. In contrast to Proxima Centauri B, the existence of Proxima has not yet been fully confirmed. Estimates of the mass of Proxima Centauri C suggest that it has several Earth masses, making it potentially a super-Earth or a mini-Neptune. Proxima Centauri C orbits its star at a much greater distance than Proxima Centauri B, with an orbital period of about 5.2 Earth years. This greater distance places it far outside the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri. Its position further suggests that it may have a significantly different atmosphere than Proxima Centauri B, if one exists at all. If Proxima Centauri C really exists, it is probably a cold and dark world. Nevertheless, life cannot be completely ruled out here either, as the icy moons in the other regions of our own solar system show. Here, liquid oceans are thought to exist beneath kilometer-thick layers of ice. And as we have learned in Antarctica on Earth, among other places, rich life can also exist under such conditions. Subscribe now because the best videos are yet to come.